Hey maker, that mom with the laser here. And today I'm excited to work on a special gift for one of my dearest childhood friends. Today I'm gonna to be making a very simple and rustic welcome sign for a wedding. I've been wanting to make one of these for a while because they're so simple yet they're great sellers. Now I know what you're thinking, the wedding industry is so saturated, but whatever, if you've got the hustle in you, ain't nothing that can stop you. So whether you're just doing this to make it as a gift for someone you love, or you want to add it to your shop, I'm happy to share my process with you. Are you ready to learn with me today? Let's go. Today I'm working with a pine board that I purchased at Home Depot. I simply had them cut it to the size that I needed, in this case, 18 by 28 inches. Now if you follow my channel then you know that I love to pre-paint my boards. Luckily I already had this piece painted white so all I needed to do was mask it and run my file. If you want to know how I pre-paint my boards then make sure to check out the video in the description box below. Before I glue my letters on I want to go ahead and score the pattern onto my piece. It's already nice and dry, so all I need to do is mark the center point so that when I send my file, all I need to do is point my laser beam right on that center dot and make sure that my image is perfectly centered on my board. Now I'm ready to score my pattern, so I'm going to gently lay my piece on my laser bed. I like to use the bottom metal panel on my honeycomb tray to help me make sure that I've got things nice and straight. Now that I've got it where I want it, I need to go ahead and focus my laser beam onto this new material. Now that I have everything in focus, I'll go ahead and position the red dot pointer right over the center point of my piece. I'm going to set this as the origin for my job and then frame it to make sure that it's falling right onto the piece where I want it to be. Everything looks good, let's score that pattern. So this is what a score line on a piece of material looks like. It's actually a cut, but you set the power very low so that all that happens is that you pretty much kind of like scratch the surface. And I'm doing this so that I know where to glue all of my pieces. I like to work with um, Gorilla Glue. It's not exactly my favorite, but it's the best clear glue that I have found. It's just a little tricky to work with and it's not very forgiving. Once you put something down, you have to be ready to leave it where you put it because cleanup is, um, it's not easy. I like to put it in these little squeeze bottles that I get from Hobby Lobby. I've, I've worked with smaller ones, but I like how flexible this one is because then it doesn't hurt my fingers as much when I'm working with it. So I'm going to go ahead and glue on my pieces. <laughs> guys, I have no doubt that the new bride-to-be is going to love her welcome sign and use it as a keepsake in her new home. I hope you learned with me today and I hope you had fun. If you don't follow me already on Instagram or YouTube, please do so. And I'll see you here soon over at That Mom with a Laser. Mm -hmm.